Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at the domain of a rational function. We want to find the excluded values. That's what we want to do. So it says the function g is defined at below g of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 32 over x squared minus 9. So we're not simplifying anything. We want to find all the values of x that are not in our domain of g. Uh, so the best way to do this, look at our do uh, denominator take our denominator, set it equal to zero, and find out what makes our denominator equal zero. Okay, so our excluded values our denominator has the variable of x squared minus 9, variable expression of x squared minus 9, so I'm going to take that expression, set it equal to zero, and then I'm going to solve. So a couple of ways you can do this Let's go ahead and use factoring since that's what we've been using. Uh, so the, if we factor x squared minus 9, that's using the rule a squared minus b squared, which equals to a plus b times a minus b. So that factors out to be x plus 3 times x minus 3. And then remember when we have two factors like that set equal to zero, we split it up, set each factor equal to zero and solve. So subtract three. So one of the excluded values is negative three. Add three, the other excluded value is positive three. So my excluded values are negative three and three. So again, we'll look at our denominator, see what uh, makes our denominator equal to zero, because whatever those values are, if we replace x with those values and get zero in our denominator, then as we've seen before, that dividing by zero is undefined. So that's why those are excluded values. All right, so uh, same thing here. Find all the values of x that are not in the domain of g. So we want to look at our denominator, set it equal to zero, factor and solve. So x squared minus 16x plus 64 equals zero. Uh, factor this, factors of, this is a perfect square, trinomial looks like here because we have perfect square x squared, perfect square 64 the minus so x minus 8 squared equals 0 so the only factor or only uh, variable term that we have that uh, with a variable in it is x minus 8 so we said x minus 8 equal to 0 solve it add 8 add 8 the only excluded value that we have in this case is 8 which means if I replace 8 in this equation x with 8 in this equation and solve then I will get 0 in my denominator and that would make it undefined. So 8 is my excluded values. So that would not be in the domain of G is what it's saying. And that's it for that. I hope you found this video to be helpful. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.